Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? This is your love reading from the 6th until the 12th, let me make sure, 6th until the 12th of May 2020. So I'm going to do what I always do in my spirit room, which is calling your spirit guides. Spirit guides for Aquarius, please come in. Um, will you show us what we need to know with regards to Aquarius' love life during this time frame? You're also going to ask them to leave you a spirit guide message at the end of the reading. Uh, it can be absolutely anything. It could be something they want you to know, it could be advice, it could be something that you don't know so let's go let's see i'm going to be drawing cards out today that's going to do with your past present and future inner connection and also get your energy and your person's energy out as well it is a general reading so if you feel like it doesn't resonate then you can always check back next week because i do them every week and sometimes it comes this week sometimes you can check back next week and it comes next week okay um what else you want to reverse the energies you can do that as well trust your instincts okay let's get into this by the way hi it's deborah i always forget to say my name it's deborah by the way <laughs> thank you for clicking on if you've been here before hi it's so nice to have you back again and if it's the first time you are here hello <laughs> so let's get out the energies for you your person they may be see okay spirit guides let's see what's going on what <laughs> um Two swords just popped out like that. Um, Knight of Swords and a Queen of Swords energy. Mm. A lot of stuff going on in people's brains over there. A um, lot of insecurity. King of Swords. Okay, I'm, ju I'm just going, okay, okay. So, so what exactly is going on in your love life? <laughs> um... Aquarius, uh, yeah, you've got some like volatile energy going on over here. Um, your energy, Knight of Swords, okay, fine. That is somebody very serious about getting ahead, achieving a goal, maybe with this person. Uh, sometimes can act a little bit out of control energy because the Knight of Swords, you know, is very fast here, very fast moving energy. Sometimes, um, like wanting to do the right thing, you know, you want to do the right thing and you take action and then you realize you did the wrong thing and you're just like, oh boy, I should not have done that. It's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here. I feel like you're moving towards this person. I don't know if this is your ex or a new person or what, but you've got a king of swords energy. And um, I don't know if the two of you are fighting or what is going on here, but this person, that is Antarctica. I'm sorry. This person's like, this is Antarctica. Yeah. Um, this person's just being shut off completely. Maybe that's what makes you get a bit, um, you know, brash, like in your energy, like rushing in kind of energy, trying to break down. If this is like I'm watching the Frozen movie and then that she goes up and builds the castle full of ice. And yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking at. This person just shut down. They're just like, don't come near me. Um, they don't want to look at any point of view. Uh, they just don't want to open up to anyone. They don't want to change anything. Wow. Being a little bit narrow-minded, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, they don't want to put up with nothing. That's all I'm picking up. This person just does not want to put up with nothing and no one. And I think they make you kind of feel a little bit desperate because I don't know if you're trying to fix something here. The way it looks like the way you're charging in. And look at the look on this on this card's face. Look at the look on this person's face. That's just like, I'm not impressed. They're looking the other direction. They're just like, really? Really? Are they? No, if you look at it this way, they're actually looking in your direction. And they're not impressed. <laughs> They're just like, okay. I would say this is resting B-I-T-C-H face. But anyway, it kind of is male or female. Let's look at the past energies between you and this person. Whoa. They just throw 1,000 cards out on the table. Really, spirit guides? Really? Five? Really? Okay, we're going to go there. You know, I sometimes have, I choose, like, I'm going to take out three cards and, like, 25 cards later. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this person, no wonder, 
this is your past in this. I think this is either a person you're with or this is an ex connection. It, it, there's no other way. It's too much here. Um, wow. This is crazy. You got a six of pentacles. You got a seven of pentacles. Major arcanas. You got a ten of cups reverse energy. Mm -mm. There we have problem. You have a star and a sun card. Okay. Whatever the past of this connection could have been long term connection. It could have been um, very good. Hey. This was like, you know, in celebrities, when you see that dream couple get together and you just say, oh my gosh, there's two of the most popular uh, movie stars got together. It's like Jennifer and, and it's like Jennifer and, and Brad. And then it was like Angelina and Brad. We're looking at that, you know, it's like this is like the couple to end all couples energy. Both of you started a new beginning you there was like this is your dream come true kind of relationship um everything going very very well a uh, lot of security things coming up here growth as well i think this i'm really looking at a long-term situation here we're looking at something that could have been years that's how i feel this thing to be this is not short term this is not something that was like just a few months no this is a lot of growth coming in there lot of growth coming in happiness um new beginnings two people coming together the life of this relationship or the life that how you lived it's good i mean this is the one where people look from the outside like i was telling you and it's like the kids the dog the puppy the double story house the two cars in the driveway the the holidays you know everything that's what you look at in something like this um, interesting, you've got two pentacles that come out, both of them in the right, in the upright position. Um, six of pentacles, there. Um, this is two people working together. This is two people who come together, this is exactly what I was saying, working towards their future. Uh, making a good life, financially secure. Everything, everything is going your way. Then you've got a seven of pentacles. Spoil yourself. There in your seven of pentacles. This is a growth of a relationship. This is a good thing. Um, it, it's not perfect. Yes, there's financial issues with the seven of pentacles. But it's good. It's two people working towards a future. Working towards building their dreams. Which is the star card. Which is the sun. This is a past. I feel like this is a marriage. Or it, if it wasn't a marriage, it was heading towards marriage. Kind of a thing. Very strong, strong connection. Then all of a sudden, there's a glitch in reality because out comes the Ten of Cups in reverse energy. This is like what I think we're looking at what went wrong. Let me tell you something. A lot more went right than what went wrong. Okay? In the past. So now, Ten of Cups, that's stress in the home. You see, we're talking about a home. We're talking about a long-term connection. Here, I have to make the heading long-term connection. Um, so that people who click on know this is about people who have been together for a while, um, living together. Uh, something happened here in this dynamic of what we're looking at. Because this Ten of Cups, something shifted and changed. Something happened. There was upset in the home. Either something was introduced that was, or some outside interference happened here. Or a change happened and then this ten of cups the ten of cups got reversed and that is the stresses and strains and yeah no that's yeah it can be worked through because it's a ten of cups the ending of a cycle but what cycle is ending that's the issue so let's have a look and see let's look at present energy here we're gonna look at future energy over here let's see present energy spirit guides what is going on here um this king of swords might be real angry because <laughs> that looks like an angry person so let's see five of pentacles present energy there has been a cutoff that happened here security wise mm, they've got three cards already um yes look at this now you've got the queen of pentacles energy in the reverse energy so something has happened here uh this is interesting 
they could be other people involved in this connection. Oh my god, I'm just gonna say this, guys. Um, yeah, no, this could be for a few of you only, hey, because you got a ten of cups there, and I was saying something has interfered here. It's like outside interference, it's like something happened, and then out comes this three of cups energy. There are three people in this card, not two people. A third has shown up. So this third person can either represent a actual person that interfered here, or it can also represent something new that was introduced into this connection. There's a possibility that um, it's something new that was introduced. It may not be a person, honestly, because I feel like everybody knew about it and it was something that, that was happy. It was a happy thing. This is a good thing. This is a new beginning. It's almost like you're toasting success, you know. But at the same time, when this has come in here, yay, it came in good. All of a sudden, whatever this is, is causing problems in this connection. Because then you get the Queen of Pentacles reverse, you get a Five of Pentacles reverse energy. And that is about something that has already happened and it's not secure. I honestly don't feel like this has got to do with money. I feel like it's got to do with the security of the relationship. Hmm. And that is, it's already happened. So this has already happened. I think it started happening over here. It's like somebody flipped their energy. It was like King of, I'm King of Cups and all of a sudden, boom, guess what? I'm King of Swords, reverse energy. It's got something to do with what has been introduced into this connection. There was a change. It's almost like um, a new job happened. Somebody got a new job and the job makes them travel and they have to start traveling. It's very good. This is your dream job. Both of you, everybody celebrates. It's hallelujah. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm a Boeing pilot now. You know what I mean? So I'm going to travel the world and we're going to be rich. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's, I'm just giving you a silly example. Okay. Um, but then the thing is, that celebration ends up being the thing that causes the trouble in this relationship. It may have to do, I feel like it's got to do with something like what I was saying. I, I, in a few of you, it might be another person, but I'm feeling more it's like something happened. And that is what caused this. And now that this situation is, yeah, you, you guys never spend any time together. Uh, or somebody's very cut off, focusing on their own selves. And there is Five of Pentacles energy, Queen of Pentacles. Now, all of a sudden, the actual relationship, the actual togetherness of the connection has now been put on to unstable ground. So let's see. Um, this is interesting. Damn. Okay, so let's see. Future energy. What is going to come out? Hmm, Aquarius. I'm, I don't know. I, I, I can't blame, if this is you, if this is your reading, I honestly can't blame you for having the Knight of Swords energy. Because this is something that you worked really hard on. Um, both of you have worked very hard on, on this. Uh, you had the Ten of Cups energy. There's something has come in. I mean, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. That's good life. Sun and star. What more must I say? You are my moon, sun and stars. I mean, no, let's not bring a moon card out here, please. Because that's hidden information. No, please don't do this to me. Okay, so um, spirit guides, let's look into this future of this connection. What do we expect with in the short term future? Let's not look long, long term. Let's because this reading is for this week. So let's look what we can expect to unfold. Okay, one more. All right, let's see what's going to unfold here. Oh, the Devil card, Reverse Energy, Page of Pentacles, Reverse Energy. And, hmm, look at that, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is, this is going to sound, I don't know how this is going to sound. I never know how it's going to sound. Um, devil card, Reverse Energy. There is somebody working outside my back door here. So if they're scratching and you hear the scratching sounds, it's because they're actually scratching the paint on the house. Yeah. People are bored. So now they decide to paint the house. And I'm just like, okay, just keep yourself busy under lockdown. 
paint the house. Okay, so devil energy. Um, this is when you get a bit of an obsession, okay? It could be you. It could be this person. It could be one of the two of you. Whatever this is here, this thing that I was talking about, if that resonates with you, it's got the devil energy attached to it. It's like taking it too far. You know, it's like working overtime all the time when you shouldn't be working overtime, not paying enough attention and getting caught up in this. And if it's another person being obsessed with another person instead of focusing on the relationship, you know, but I'm not saying it is that. This is what's causing this issue. This is obsessive compulsive behavior, OCD, you know what I mean? This is like somebody who, who overworks, who spends too much time on their hobby. It's like, I'm going to take up sailing. And you're like, yay, take up sailing. This is going to be fun. I'm sailing around the world, 365 days. And you're just like, what? No, what about our relationship? You see what this is going too far. It's, it's not putting enough time and effort into the relationship. I just feel like this is what's going on here. Um, this is our future energy. This person's going to have to, or you, it depends what the glitch was that caused this to happen. So this is going to be worked upon. Um, yes, it's going to be worked upon. I think you guys, Aquarius, are going to be fine. You got a page of pentacles energy and you got a seven of pentacles energy. Uh, there is a big security coming up here. There's another seven of pentacles. Can you believe that? Uh, you're gonna whatever this is here the two of you together you're like a power couple you can really live a good life there's also the page of pentacles so one of the two of you could be older or younger than the other a couple of years maybe more but this will start again this is not going to stay in this un upset crazy vibe here no this is going to sort itself out um there's future things coming in for this relationship here there is a new beginning secure it's focusing on security and there is also the seven of pentacles energy so this is waiting for this fruit on this tree to actually get ripe and it's coming you planted these seeds they are now growing so don't do anything crazy i think everything is going to be cool i have a feeling i have a feeling everything's just going to be fine here just keep working go forward you know, when I look at this top row here, this looks like a, a strong foundation. The roots are very deep, hey? And you know when the roots are deep, that's when the fruit grows even better. No wind can blow down the future of this connection. And I don't think it's going to. I think you're still going to see a lot of growth happening in this relationship. It's not over, no. Um, Things need to get sorted out. They're going to get sorted out. There will be an offer of a new beginning in this connection. So let's see what spirit guides have got to say for you. Hmm. Let's see what they've got to say. Spirit guides, let's see any advice that you have to give. Hmm. Hello. Up pops one of my favorite cards. Five of cups, especially when it comes to relationships. Somebody has got to make a choice and a decision here to save this relationship. This is what Spirit Guides are saying. That is the Five of Cups. That is emotional sacrifice. One of you, both of you, possibly both of you. Whatever this two cards are here, I feel like this is what fuels those two cards. It's this drive. It's this obsession. If this is another person, if this is some kind of thing that takes this person's energy away from focusing on the relationship or even yours, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't know, you know, um, that's the sacrifice. This devil needs to get sacrificed so that this future of this connection can bloom. When this Five of Cups comes out, um, you're looking at a situation where choices need to get made. And you have to, you know, it's quite a hard choice, by the way, because the Five of Cups is in the upright position. So it is like actually maybe changing work, something that is your passion, so that you can 
uh, save the relationship. Hey? And I think this is going to happen. I think it's going to happen. I think there's going to be a lot of awakening, a lot of understanding between you and this person. I think, you know, relationships, you know what they're about? Compromise. We all know. They say relationships are about compromise. This is the compromise. Both of these two parties have got to compromise for this to get to the seven of... Because you know what's going to happen after this? You're going to head for the ten of pentacles energy. And this is very good. Right now, there's a lot of insecurity happening. Not sure what's going on. Something else has been introduced into this connection. It's caused a lot of drama. Um, sacrifice has to be made to save this. That's spirit guide message. Interesting enough, hey? Um, this devil has got to be sacrificed. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Whatever this obsession is, has got to be put aside. And so that this is this beautiful. I mean, after the seven of pentacles, I feel like it's the eight of pentacles. After the eight, it's the nine of pentacles. After the nine, it's the ten of pentacles. What more do you want here? I think both you and this person want that. And that is what will drive um, this to be saved. Because together, you guys do it well. So why stop doing what's already working? Just, you have to know what to let go of and what to hold on to. There we go, Aquarius. This is your reading. I hope this helps you. Very interesting. I think, I don't know, I feel like for me it's a little bit cryptic even. So um, I think you know what this is about. They say you know. If this is resonating with you, you know exactly what this is about. Hmm. Well, there you go. Curious. Very cryptic for me as well. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.